In this screencast, I'll show you how to run the simulation and how to review the results that I generated. So now that steps one to six have been completed, the run button has gone from having a red border to having a black border, indicating that enough information has been supplied to run the simulation. And the run button is this one here. It's got the black triangle and it looks a little bit like a play button. To run the simulation, all we have to do is click on this. And very quickly, the simulation will run within 0 0.11 of a second. That's been completed. And the, diff the various streams and unit operations have turned to blue to indicate that they have successfully run and calculated the information required. To review the results, we can click on the different streams and unit operations. So if we right click on, a, on a, this a stream S3 and then click review data window, we can see the temperature of this stream. Now this is given as somewhere between the two temperatures of S1 and S2, which were set at 298K and 293K respectively. And Pro2 has calculated the temperature of the mixed stream now. The flow rate is also given as 2000 kilomoles per hour, as you'd expect, because again, stream S1 and S2 were both set to 1000 kilomoles per hour. If we click to this drop down menu and click on the material balance, we also get information about composition. So we have 0.5 mole fraction of methanol, 0.5 mole fraction of H2O. And the pressure of this stream is 101.33, as would be expected because stream S1 and S2 were also at 101.33 kilopascals. We can also review the information for stream S4. Again, we right click on S4 and then left click on data review window. And we see here that the temperature has remained the same as stream S3, but the pressure has increased because the pump was set to increase the process stream pressure by 100 kilopascals. So we've gone from 101.33 kilopascals to 201.33 kilopascals. Again, if we click on this drop down menu, select material balance, we see that the composition of the stream has remained at 0.5 mole fraction methanol, 0.5 mole fraction of H2O. As you'd expect, the pump hasn't changed the composition of the stream. We can also review information about the unit operations. So if we right click on the pump and then left click on data review window, we can see the name of the pump, P1, the pressure gained, which is something that we set, and then there's some additional information. The head that's been generated by this in meters and also the work that was required to increase the pressure of the stream. So that's quite useful. It allows us to specify the duty that the pump will require to fulfill this function. So that will be at 1.6261 kilowatts. So overall, that is how you can run the process simulation in Pro2 and how you can review the results that have been generated.